This is the mental toughness day. So what is mental toughness? It's all about responding under pressure and being confident. And the only way you can respond under pressure is being prepared. Confidence comes from being prepared. And this is why this is so important now, again, to turn this obstacle of being stuck at home into an advantage. Why? Because most of us in our normal day-to-day -day lives are so busy, we never sit down to think about what are those things that are giving us trouble? Or when we do, the only time we actually think about it is when we're in the situation. So this is why, again, you can get so much benefit out of this period during your mental game. So what I'm gonna ask you to do to improve your mental game is think about one shot or one situation that when you're on the court bugs the heck out of you. Meaning that, you know, if they're hitting high to your backhand or they're coming in the net, pick one situation. And now I wanna explain the ABCs. You're like, ABCs, what am I, back in preschool? No, ABCs is all about having a plan A, B, and C. Most players, when they're, they're on the court, they think about one thing so it's like if one situation happens they're like oh this is my only response that's the problem you want to have more than one response if you have one option you have no options and so by thinking about the ABCs I want you to think about what's one way of responding to it another way and another way that way you have three different situations so again this is so important because by preparing early and thinking about this while you're not on the court you can think about the best solutions and so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So, this is how my ABCs works. Guess what, my number one problem is net rushes. When they come in, I freak out. I like go for crazy passing shots and it just my mind just starts trying to do all these weird things. So the key about having the ABCs is I have a plan A. If that doesn't work, I have a plan B and a C. And so for me, my plan A is cross court and low. So it tells me, hey, look, keep going cross court and low. Stop going for those down line passing shots and I'll keep doing that, but guess what? Most people only have one option, so when this doesn't work, guess what they do? They freak out again, but you're not gonna do that anymore because you got the ABCs. So again, next thing, I would make them play. Even though I'm going cross court, sometimes you go cross court too low, you go in the net, or too high. But either way, I gotta make sure I make them play. I'm not going for these crazy passing shots. But once I do plan A, plan B, and it's not working, guess what? I gotta go to plan C, which is lob. Get them to move off the net. So many times, yeah, we're doing plan A, good, Maybe we switch to plan B, we're making it in this combination, but then they're getting so close, we never mix it up. And these are the things you wanna think about when you come up with your ABCs. Not only just random kind of ideas or solutions, but how do they connect? And also like, what's something a little bit different you can do that's different from maybe your A or B, just something to throw them off. And that's why I threw in the lob here. And so this is so important that you do this now because you have the time. Again, when you're on the court, there's no time, you're, you're gonna go back to those normal habits. But if you take the time to think about it now, to process and figure out what your solution one is, solution two, and solution three, and go through it in that order, you're gonna have the best chances of being more mentally tough because you know how to respond. You're not gonna freak out because you're not prepared. And so what I want you to do is do this exact same thing and I want you to hashtag home tennis, post this somewhere, and also tag essential tennis, again, be prepared, be mentally tough, because you've done the work before you step on the court. That's how you become a lot tougher on the court.